In a scandal that has sent shockwaves through the royal family and captured global attention, musician David Foster has come forward with startling claims about his alleged relationship with Princess Diana, raising the possibility that he, not King Charles, is the biological father of Prince Harry. Foster, known for his Grammy-winning career, asserts that he had a romantic affair with Princess Diana in the mid-1980s, at a time when her marriage to Charles was already under strain. According to Foster, the affair began after a chance meeting in London and lasted for a brief period during the mid-1980s. This timeline has significant implications, as Prince Harry was born in September 1984, which could place the affair around the time of his conception. Foster, who has remained silent for decades, now claims that this affair could mean he is Harry's real father. The most explosive part of this revelation comes from Foster's claim that he conducted a private DNA test. Foster allegedly obtained a discarded water bottle used by Prince Harry and had it tested in a private lab. According to Foster, the results showed a 99.9% .9 probability that he is Harry's biological father. These claims, if proven true, would upend decades of royal history and potentially throw the British monarchy into chaos, calling into question Prince Harry's legitimacy and his place in the line of royal succession. The royal family has responded with swift outrage. King Charles and senior royals have vehemently denied Foster's claims, labeling the unauthorized DNA test as invasive and inappropriate. Buckingham Palace, in a rare public statement, expressed anger over the claims, asserting that Prince Harry's paternity has never been in question. The palace emphasized that no credible evidence exists to support Foster's allegations and warned of potential legal action. This scandal threatens to destabilize the monarchy, which has already faced numerous challenges in recent years. For Prince Harry, who has distanced himself from royal duties and relocated to the United States, these allegations could have profound personal and public ramifications. While his relationship with the royal family has been strained since his departure alongside Meghan Markle, this paternity scandal could further isolate him from his family and deepen the public's fascination with his personal life. Critics and royal watchers are also raising questions about whether there has been a deliberate cover-up surrounding Prince Harry's paternity. Some speculate that if true, the royal family may have long been aware of these rumors and taken steps to suppress them. Others wonder if the inconclusive DNA tests conducted in the past, as Foster claims, are part of a broader effort to shield the monarchy from scandal. In the public arena, reactions have been mixed. Some view Foster's claims as a cynical attempt to gain attention, questioning why he remained silent for so long if his story is true. Others are intrigued by the timing of these allegations, as the royal family has recently been embroiled in numerous controversies. There are also questions about the validity of the DNA test, with many demanding more transparency and further testing to either confirm or debunk Foster's claims. For now, the royal family remains in damage control mode, working to preserve the integrity of the institution amidst what could be one of the most damaging scandals in modern royal history. As the public awaits more details, speculation continues to swirl around whether Prince Harry himself will address these explosive claims and what the future holds for him and the monarchy as a whole.